What's up everybody, it's Eric here. All right, so this video is about how to manipulate your video to resize it, maybe transform it, um, and use it within your timeline. And this is a very powerful technique that's gonna help you throughout your editing, whether it's to promote your business, work on your new YouTube channel, do your short film or your feature film. Um, so before we start, I hope you'll like and subscribe. There's gonna be more videos like this, helpful tips that's gonna help you uh, get going and get started. So, all right, let's go. Okay, so um, now we are going to go over how to use the inspector. The inspector is a very, very important um, menu that you need to access for each video because then you can manipulate the size, you can manipulate how it's cropped, uh, things like that. And it's gonna come up very, very often while you're editing. All right, so I'm gonna take this original video that we've been working with, I'm going to double click it in the timeline and here we are and then I'm gonna to go to the inspector which is in the upper right and I'm gonna click on it um, and then from there um, all these different sort of selections and um, changes that you can make to this particular video that's in the timeline can be made um, so going through it composite mode you're most likely not going to use this but let's say you wanted to overlay it on top of something you would change the opacity so because there's nothing under the opa un underneath this video it just gets darker because you're just combining black with um, a video but so the transparency or the opacity um, is manipulated here uh, next is transform this is something that you're going to use very very often um, starting from the um, the zoom part we can change the size of the video, right? And this is linked, but then if you unlink it, you can change the proportions as well, but most likely you're gonna keep it linked. Um, why is this important? Well, because let's say I only want a close-up on my face, and let's choose a, a little bit better um, expression. <laughs> and then once I've um, done that, I probably wanna reframe and so let's say I really wanted to get a good close up on this one, or it's just, you know, like um, in the earlier video, I talked about jump cutting. Let's say we want to jump cut to something. What you can do is kind of change the size of the video to um, uh, to make it feel like it's not so much of a, a jump cut. It's, it's more like a cut from a mid shot to a close up shot or, you know, and then you can cut back. Um, so this is uh, another trick that you see very often. Let's say I want to put, put myself on the right side. So I just manipulate the X coordinate, right? Um, so there's lots of things you can do. And then let's say you put this camera or whoever shot it, put the camera on a little bit of an angle or like the tripod was off. You can actually change um, how it's rotated. But in, in my case, it's generally fairly level. So I wouldn't do that. But you can see with the rotation angle, that's what you can do. Um, this is also good for, let's say, for example, you shot a um, um, some phone video and it was sorry, it was vertical and you wanted to change the rotation. Well, you could do that. Let's say you could you could, you know, make it completely horizontal, zoom in, things like that. But um, just remember, though, this is where when you um, zoom in that the res resolution that you shot in really makes a difference. So if I'm outputting in high definition or HD, then, you know, hopefully I've shot in H, in um, in UHD or 4K, so that when I zoom in, the resolution is going to stay similar, um, because as I zoom in, it's going to get greenier and greenier. Um, okay, so um, we'll reset those things here because, so this um, this button right here, actually lets you go back to the beginning. Okay, so next um, is the anchor point, which doesn't really do anything. Um, pitch, you rarely use that. Yaw, the same thing. You rarely use these things. Flip comes in um, pretty often for me. Um, it's not like every time, but let's say I want to put myself on the right or the left or let's say I'm pointing at something and it, it's really cool when you can point at something and it's, you know, and then the next clip kind of looks like I was pointing at it. So th those are ways you can use the flip. 
um, horizontal, I guess, if you, um, if your footage came in upside down or, um, or whatever, I mean, you could use this, um, uh, but you would probably use the rotation angle if you were, um, doing something that's over a, like a timed event. Uh, the next area is cropping, which is very, very common, um, to use. Let's say, for example, I wanted to put myself in the, um, the bottom left window. I could do something like this. So I could crop myself. And I only wanted like a box of myself. I didn't want to take so much up of the picture. Then I could crop myself and then move myself to the bottom, changing the coordinates here, right? And then let's bring myself in size down here. Boop. And boop. There you go. So now I'm a little bit of uh, in there talking in the bottom window. Um, the rest of these selections, um, you will, won't use very often. Maybe you would try the stabilization, um, within this. I don't commonly use this. I would maybe use this in the color tab, but you can try it to different effects depending on what footage you've, you've had. But, um, you know, I tend to not, um, I try not to need footage that needs stabilizing, um, so I don't use this very often at all. So I'm going to turn this off. Retime and scaling. It's also something that I don't really use very often, but you can more than, you know, you're more than welcome to explore it. And then the same thing, lens correction. Um, you know, you could probably um, change things in here too. See how it distorts it. Um, but I don't commonly use that either. Now I'm turning them off, but you don't have to turn them off. They can be on. They're just all at standard settings that don't manipulate it. But um, of course, you know, that's up, that's to your preference. Um, and that's it. That's the inspector tab. Uh, I just wanted to go through that um, specific section because you're going to use it very often. Um, you know, uh, let's, let's do something slightly more advanced here. Um, and then I'll show you. So I made myself smaller. So let's bring this up here. This might be something very common you're going to do. And then, you know, we're doing this type of tutorial video. So I'm going to take this video file and I'm going to move it underneath here. And then boom, look, I'm there talking about whatever actions that I'm making in this video. Super, super simple. But that's how you could do something there. But let's say... Um, Actually, uh, let's say I wanted to take up half the screen, so I'm just going to zoom up, move myself coordinates to the left a little bit. Um, there we go. And then I'm going to go to the cropping area and bring it here. Sorry. And then uncrop the top. And I need to move this up slightly. And then there you go. I'm talking half of the screen and then maybe you have something here on the right or let's say you're doing a Zoom interview with somebody um, and you wanted to blow those up a little bit. You could do that. Or if you want, you know, if you had an interview and someone was telecommuting, sorry, was teleconferencing and then let's say they're shooting something on their camera and you're shooting something on your camera, you can simulate that kind of uh, look where you guys are talking to each other like you're in, um, you know, you're on the news or something like that. So again, um, yeah, that's it. Something that's uh, super useful um, that's going to be commonly used throughout your editing. Um, and uh, so I hope you'll like and subscribe to the videos um, and uh, I'll talk to you next time.